welcome to All About The Bass. Uh, that tune was Do I Do by the amazing Stevie Wonder. And it's worth taking a, a little bit of time just to mention that because we always talk about great um, sort of bass riffs and great bass lines. And the guy that plays on this uh, tune is a guy called Nate Watts, Nathan Watts. He's been with Stevie Wonder since the 70s. He's played on loads of great records. And uh, if you don't know this track, check it out because it's not just a, a great bass line. The whole song is just an amazing performance. And uh, it's just, just really, really special. And uh, yeah, so if you don't know the track, go and check it out. Anyway, uh, why are we here today? Well, we're looking at a new range of Ibanez basses. Uh, very nice, nice they are too, of course, as we've come to expect from Ibanez. Here we are, look. I'm flanked on either side by the beauties. Uh, the first one up is this, uh, which is the Mezzo 32. Uh, mezzo, what's that all about? Well, that's Italian for uh, medium, and that's because it's a medium scale bass. So normally, uh, standard length uh, scale for a bass would be 34 inches. This one's 32. So, you know, we've talked a lot on this show about short scale basses, uh, and this is kind of comes between the two. And it's a very nice compromise um, because it doesn't really feel too short, um, but it's, it's, really, it's a really comfortable length. You know, if you're maybe a younger player and your arms aren't as long, or your hands aren't as big, um, or maybe you're a guitar player that just isn't used to that great stretch of a, a bass, then this might be exactly what you're looking for um, because it's very comfortable to play. Uh, the neck is, is, is beautifully narrow, actually. Uh, so if you have got smaller hands, it would be absolutely perfect. It comes in this rather fetching colour too, isn't that beautiful? Um, we've got, pickup wise we've got this sort of PJ a combination, which is precision jazz, what we call it, because the, the precision bass has just got that pickup. And then the jazz bass has got uh, two of these. So we call this the precision jazz because it's kind of a nice combination of the two. Um, maple neck, poplar body, um, 22 frets, uh, all pretty standard stuff there. Control wise, we've got volume, uh, we've got a, a pickup, uh, balance so it's a just a rotary dial that goes all the way between the back one and then you can blend it and then in the middle you've got both and then all the way to the front you've just got this one and then we've got uh, a 9 volt active preamp which has got bags of output I realized when I plugged it in uh, and that just has a treble and a bass cut and boost um, so what does it sound like I hear you ask well I'll tell you so, volume up, back pickup, sounds a bit like this. Yeah, so you've got your, your P bass uh, pickup and your jazz bass pickup. I'll let you hear what the jazz bass pickup sounds like with the EQ on flat. I'll let you hear what the P bass pickup sounds like on flat. And now both pickups at the same time. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, let's have a little listen to the EQ. If I start fiddling them out um, with the treble, we'll put, turn that up. Well, actually, I'm gonna cut it first and see how much it cuts. So you lose all that harshness straight away. Back pick up, no treble. Front pick up, no treble. Okay, let's turn the treble up now. I'll turn it up in increments so it doesn't get too harsh.
So I've got loads of cut and boost on the treble. Uh, let's do the same with the bass. We can cut it out a bit. Why would you want to cut the bass on a bass guitar? Pointless. Let's put it on. So bags of uh, cut and boost on the EQ. Uh, I have to say, it's you know this is a really really nice bass, and when you realise that it only costs two hundred and forty nine pounds, then uh, it's an absolute bargain. You know, um, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a lovely thing. Uh, right, uh, we'll move on. What's next? Okay, uh, moving right on. We've got this little beauty. Uh, now this is the, and I have to read this very carefully because it's very complicated. This is the SR400 EMQM. Hmm, doesn't that just roll off the tongue? Next time you want to order one, you go, yeah, I'd, I'd like to order a, hang on a minute. <clears throat> so uh, we worked out, we think, that uh, SR400 is the model. We'll leave the E for a bit. The M is because it's got a mahogany uh, slab on the body and QM, Quilted maple, quilted maple for the top, you see. So there you go. Well, I say, oh, Pete worked it out. Um, you're a clever boy. Um, and this one uh, is obviously a four string version. This one that I was playing at the beginning is the five string. The specs are the same for both of these. Um, so, you know, really, whatever I say about this one applies for this one too. So this one's Sunrise Red Burst. Uh, as I said, mahogany body, quilted maple top. Uh, five piece maple uh, and walnut. Neck, look at that, very nice. Maple fretboard, AccuCast bridge, Cosmo black hardware. Ooh, two power span dual coil pickups, which you will hear in a moment. Uh, yeah, oh, active bass, uh, of course, as you'd expect. Um, what do these controls do here? We've got master volume, uh, pickup uh, balancer, and then we've got three band EQ, and then a little three-way switch, uh, which just tells you uh, if the pickups are running in single or a humbucker, or they've got this thing called power tap, which is very exciting. I'll we'll, uh, let you listen to that in a minute. So a back pickup sounds a bit like this. Back pickup, uh, humbucker mode. It was a fatter, fatter, bigger sound. Uh, let's try the front pickup, single coil mode. Front pickup, humbucker mode. She's got that fatness and slightly more brighter. Uh, cool, both pickups at the same time. Single coil. Both pickups in the humbucker mode. Now, we've got this power tap mode. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Should we see what that does? I think it's a boost, effectively. I think it gives you like about 30% of a boost on the level. Uh, and EQ-wise, I'll run you through that very quickly. Uh, what do you got in trouble at the back? I'll cut it. I'll boost it. 
Mid range, cut it. Boost it. Yeah, that's nice. Bit of instant jacko there. Sound, not the plane. Uh, bass cut. Pointless, as we discussed. <laughs> Boost. My 10 inch cabinet is not enjoying that, but uh, that's good because it means it works. So we've got loads of uh, cut and boost on the EQ there. Uh, yeah, and that is the SRM 400 EMQ and BBC RSBG thing, whatnot. Uh, yeah, very nice, lovely basses. Now, I hear you asking, how much is one of these going to cost me? And well, unbelievably, only. 349 pounds. What? Yes, I know. How do they do it? I don't know how Ibanez, Ibanez, Ibanez uh, make such great bases, because it really is a great base. I mean, it really is beautifully built. I think these are made in Indonesia. Um, it feels great, plays great, sounds great. 349 pounds. It's, it's a steal. Uh, yeah, it really is. And uh, if you want the five string version, that will set you back merely another 50 pounds. All right. Uh, so yeah, there you go, 399 as a bargain. If you want a really quality uh, five-string electric bass, look no further than that. That's a lovely thing. Uh, right, that leaves me with one, the elephant in the room, quite literally, with its trunk hanging out over there. Let's check it out. Okay, so look at this delightful thing. How about this? It's always great to see something uh, a bit different on all about the bass, and this is certainly that. Uh, it's got a really nice, uh, sort of different body uh, shape and headstock. Um, of course, with all the Ibanez guitars, it's really nice to play. Um, it sounds great and it's really well built. It is called the AFR4 Affirma, right? Okay, and it's been designed, uh, designed by uh, a German guy called Rolf Spuler. And now he's been around designing bases since the early 80s. And still, uh, he's got his own firm. If you go and check him out on Google, you can see he's still making bases. And you can see this is obviously his, uh, his trademark sort of body shape, because a lot of his guitars look like this. Ibanez obviously took it on board and thought, oh yeah, that's nice, we'll, uh, we'll make something like that. Um, specs wise, flame maple top, maple back, three piece maple neck. Um, and it's a uh, ebony fingerboard with abalone inlays. Now, electrics-wise, uh, this is this is kind of out there as well. This is very different because you think, well, hang on, it's got one pickup. Interesting little channel there as well. Look, put your thumb in, I like that. Or you could store things in, I don't know. So sweets. Um, one pickup, hmm, what's that all about? Well, no, actually it's got two pickups. You can't see the other one because it's under the bridge and it's a piezo pickup. More of a, like an acoustic transducer. Um, so that gives you a, um, a lot of different tones that you wouldn't normally get from just two regular magnetic pickups. How do you mean, you say? Well, I'll show you. Right, so your front pickup, your magnetic one, is controlled by this, and sounds like this. And that has its own dedicated EQ, treble and bass, cut and boost, as you'd expect. Nine volt active preamp. Uh, I'll just play with the EQ a little bit on that. Treble off. Treble up. Boost the bass a bit. Uh, now, this other pickup has its own uh, dedicated volume control, that's here. So this is the piezo pickup that's under this bridge. And that also has its own tone control too. So let's have a little listen to that.
Kind of get a, a feel of that kind of acoustic bassy sort of thing going on. Uh, and then you can obviously have both on at the same time. Uh, and that sounds like this. We've got um, approximately 22 and three quarter frets. Uh, you see you've got a little dusty end feature up there, which is very nice. If you're ever in the mood to do anything sort of... Uh... You might not be in the mood to do that. But you've got the option, see? Get up there, dust it off a bit. So there you go, that is the Affirma. Um, that's a really special bass, you know, a little bit different. I like that. On the back there, you can adjust the volume of each uh, piezo string, because sometimes they can be a bit funny piezos when you restring a, an instrument. Suddenly you get one string that's much louder than the rest. So you've got individual gain for each one there. Uh, yeah, that's a really sweet, but that's a really nice thing, you know, very different. Um, comes with a case. It comes with a nice Ibanez uh, case. I which is um, cut out the right shape for this, which of course you've got to bear that in mind. Uh, you know, you want a decent case for it, well you get one. And uh, how much is this going to cost you? This is going to cost you uh, £1,149, okay? Uh, which I think is, is, is perfectly affordable for a, a really special bass like this. Um, right, okay. Well, there you go. That's uh, Ibanez's sort of fresh range of bases for 2020. Mm. Um, we'll keep you updated as they bring more stuff out, as of course they will. Uh, they're all really nice bases, uh, great value for money. I mean, you know, this is this is great, you know, if you're a student or whatever. Brilliant. Come and check this out. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's been all about the base. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.